Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Shweta Makeup and Beauty and I hope you all are doing good. So today's video is a Navratri Garba makeup tutorial video. So I hope you enjoy the video. So first thing first, I am using a color bar primer to make my makeup more long lasting. You can use any primer that you have. And next I am using my L'Oreal True Match Concealer. This is in the shade light medium. And I'm applying it onto my imperfections like dark circles and onto the areas where I need more coverage. And then using my finger, I gently dab the concealer into my skin so that it is nicely absorbed. Next, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation and this one is in the shade 150 and then using my be a small brush i gently dabbed it onto the foundation so that the product is only onto the tips of the brush next i'm gently pushing the foundation into my skin so that it is well absorbed and this motion will create little little pixels all over my face and thus it will give an airbrushed look to my face and since I am using a little amount onto my face, it will not be heavy onto my face and this will be really long lasting and my skin will be able to breathe. And when there was no product on the brush, I gently sweeped it into the direction of hair growth and it was looking flawless. Next, I am using my Nashia Brow Kit to define my brows and I am filling more product towards the end of my brows and with the remaining product onto the brush, I will apply it onto the initial part of my brow so that it looks really natural. Next, for my eye makeup, I am using this Maybelline The Nudes palette and applying a shimmery light gold color all over my lid. And next, I am mixing a shimmery brown and grayish brown color together and applying it onto the crease of my eyelid. And next, I am taking a shimmery gold shade from the same palette and applying it onto the center part of my lips. Next, to make the look more colorful and vibrant, I am taking this L18 Colourpop Eyeliner in the shade Blue and applying it onto my lips. To make my eyeliner a more vibrant and more intense, I am using a blue shade from my MUA palette and applying it on top of my liquid liner and this will make sure that my eyeliner is more vibrant. Next I am using my Maybelline Lumi Touch Concealer and I am using a lighter shade because I want it to highlight my under eye area and on the areas which I want to highlight. And I'm applying it as an inverted triangle under my eyes. I'm also applying it onto my chin, onto the bridge of my nose, onto my temple and towards the side of my lips. And then I'm using my Be A Small brush to blend everything really nice. So first I am using a dabbing motion so that the product is sinked in into my skin and then using gentle strokes I blended everything neatly. Next I am using this banana shade powder from my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Kit and applying it onto the areas where I highlighted before and this will enhance my highlighting and it will make it more even and it will also make sure that my makeup stays put on for more hours. Next, I'm using a brown shade from the same contour palette and 
lightly contouring my nose using a smaller brush from BS Small and gently blending it with the help of my finger so that the look is more even and natural. And then using a tapered brush from BS Small, I am applying the same brown color to contour my cheekbones, my jawline and then I am using the highlighter shade from the same contour palette and applying it onto my cheekbones and tip of my nose, dip of my nose, temple and chin. Next, I curl my lashes using my Vega eyelash curler and then I used my L'Oreal waterproof butterfly mascara I have reviewed it before you can go and see my review on it if you like to and then I applied mascara onto my upper lashes onto my lower lashes I really like to put mascara onto my lower lashes as it really makes the eyes wide and then I'm using my NYX Satin Finish Black Liner as a kajal and I'm applying it onto my waterline and I really like how soft and buttery uh, this black liner is. Next I'm using my Chambord Transfer Proof Lipstick in the shade 403. So since this makeup look is long lasting, so I want to try a lip color that is transfer proof and that will not smudge out or wash off with drinks, food and time. So this lip color is tried and tested and it stays put onto my lips for 5 to 6 hours. I used a tissue paper to wipe off the excess product from my lips and then I'm using this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Antwerp and applying it on top of my Chambord lip color because I felt like it was too vibrant for my outfit and then I'm using this Maybelline blush in the shade Coral and applying it lightly onto my cheeks so that it looks healthy and glowy. And then I completed the look with a bindi and then I used my eyeliner to draw three dots onto my chin to make it look more traditional, more festive. To make my makeup more long lasting and dewy, I'm using this MAC Prep and Prime and if you don't have it, you can also use Compact to make it more long lasting. And then I completed the look with some Junki and with some Churi. And this is the complete look. I really hope you enjoy watching this video and if you do so, please hit that like button. It would mean a lot to me. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.